What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing Plants vs. Zombies 3. This is a new update to the beta build uh, for April of 2022. The last beta build we played was in September of last year, and that was much different than the early, early alpha that was released in 2020, which probably will never see the light of the day because they've significantly changed it. Here's Dave. Greetings, neighbor. I'm Dave, but you can just call me Dave. Is that... Oh, no. Oh, no. What? Type here to defend your lawn. Okay, sure enough, we will. And uh, let's have some fun with this and see what they've changed uh, since last year. Um, I might not remember very well, but we're going <laughs> to jump in and see what uh, what all is new. Now, the good news is that they have brought back, uh, you know, they brought back um, sunflowers, which were not in the early alpha build of 2020, and uh, zombies, and they didn't even send a note. All right, back to the basics. Pea Shooter, help us out. So, yeah, okay, we've, we've seen this, basically. Um, you're gonna basically see, okay, you two walnut protect pea shooter. Place offensive plants behind defensive ones. That's a good idea, we need more sun. Uh, all right, that's fine. So, interesting, okay, so three, okay. Now, I have to go check, but uh, one thing that I'm noticing, here's what I'll do, since it's been so long, I'll compare it to Plants vs. Zombies 2. This is one sun, rather than like, you know, 50, 25, 100, or whatever. These things are just producing one sun at a time. That's interesting. It may be a little bit simple, and uh, maybe that's desired. So you click these, you get, now I have three suns, and I can put this guy out here. There we go. She's coming through. There's also uh, feminine zombies as well. Watch the tracker to see when the final wave of zombies is coming. Defeat all zombies to win. That's the basics of Plants vs. Zombies. And by the way, you guys have been tremendously supportive of this beta build. Uh, not this particular build, but the one. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool little animation. And there's a gravestone. What is that? Some rewards. We're getting rewards. Flowers are left over. Uh, you got a reward. So that's fantastic. One thing that I noticed, uh, there was like kind of like an homage at one point to uh, George Fan and I think Rich Werner. Is that, is that how you say his name? I don't know. Oh man, a taco ticket. This will help you all over Neighborville. Great. And uh, I don't see that at the moment. Uh, what is this? Tap here to open your task list, okay. Do it, spend your taco ticket and help Dave, sure. What a mess, looks like we've got a zombie problem. Again, this is going to require some thought, which reminds me, no good ideas happen on an empty stomach. Do you have lunch plans? Uh, I do not have lunch plans. I swore I heard a zombie say, nice to eat you. Makes me wonder what a zombie taco tastes like. There's something familiar about all this. Let's head over to the workshop. This taco isn't going to make itself. Uh, so follow Dave to his workshop. Okay, and that would be where? Do I just click this? Level two uh, is something, but am I looking at the right thing? My brains are full. I already did that. Can these things do anything? Not that I know of. What's this? Okay. So lunch boxes of some sort. Let's head on to level two and see what we're up against. These first levels are gonna be pretty easy as we explore the basics of the game once more. Uh, I'm having a hard time dragging and dropping, so the more sunflowers you have, the more sun you get, of course. That's how it works. And these are producing uh, simple amounts of sun compared to last time, so. There we go. And of course, sun is falling from the sky again. I can fast forward. I always, you know, if I'm gonna throw in any feedback, I wish there was like an extra fast forward because sometimes it just isn't really enough for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like it needs to go even faster. A fast forward that goes even faster, even better. There we go. Don't worry, we're gonna get this. I don't mind playing in fast forward mode. I can even plant that. Long, clear, cool image. Gravestones, one big, one little. That gets me rewards, 54 coins total. And uh, a taco ticket. What? I don't know what this taco ticket is, but there is some sort of a story here. And just like that, you've got a second taco ticket. I'm noticing a pattern here, but this time there's something more. Okay, so task list once more. Uh, follow Dave to his workshop, so that's the next task. It's not as good as my frog burping machine, but I think I have just the thing to help us out. Bzz, system loading, checking taco systems, morning zombies incoming. That's Mo. Lunch time, you got a taskless reward. Let's claim our prize from this lunch box. Okay, 15 of these, 15 minutes uh, of what? 
Infinite Brain saves you from losing lives for a time. Keep rolling, keep playing to watch a special preview video tomorrow. Okay. So there'll be a special preview video in 24 hours. That's interesting. Uh, let's go into stage three and play again. These are, you know, going to be pretty easy stages. So use what you've learned so far to beat this level. Don't forget, I'm here to help. Thank you, Sonny. One, two, three. And honestly, I don't remember uh, how the game was structured back in September. So the sun system could have been just exactly like this in September. In fact, I'm probably willing to bet it was. But I'll double, you know, I'll take a break in a second and then double check. Uh, boom. Fast forward once more because I'm excited to win this. I just need another pea shooter. And, you know, playing this game, it, it's, it's almost like, well... My plants are so powerful in Plants vs. Zombies 2. I'm used to just shredding zombies. We're kind of back to square one with Plants vs. Zombies 3. I'm really curious what they end up doing with this game. And hopefully, I mean, we can hope that they release this game, the final version, or at least the first initial regular version this week. Not this, I'm sorry, not, not, not this week. This month. I mean, no, yeah, this year. <laughs> this year. I mean, yeah, sure, do it this week, please. I'll be ready. But this year would be good, too. Um, what, what's happened here with the tasks here? Reboot Mo, bzz, threat mulched, Mo activated, bzz, require zombie sample for analysis. Now let's see if we can get a zombie sample so Mo can tell us what's, what is going on here. All right, give Mo the information he needs. That will be another task. So I have to get these tickets at the end of this, which is interesting, uh, an interesting system. So let's do level four and see where we're at with it. If these zombies get to your house, it's over. Lucky for you, we've got Mo. Oh, so Mo's the name of this lawnmower system that's going on here. There you go. Thank you, Mo. So, oh, I get it. Lawnmower. Mo will automatically defeat the first lane of zombies to reach your house. Okay. So that's pretty cool. We're going to want to go with sunflowers because of the fact that uh, uh, we don't have any sun-producing plants already on the screen. And then here we go. A huge wave of zombies approaching... These levels feel shorter than before, but again, I'd have to just double check. I don't know. Uh, this one's a flag. Put that there. This is it. These these levels are so short, long, clear. These graves popping out of everywhere. I, I don't really understand what determines how the graves pop up, but this old this grave system is new, and these tickets are new, and the story has been updated, of course. Give Mo the information he needs. There you go. Bzz, analysis complete. Bzz, this zombie was sent by an old friend. Bzz, Edgar George Zombas. Waiting 4,500 years for the time talk. It wasn't worth it. Dr. Zombas has completely wrecked Neighborville. Bzz, this entire town has been smothered in zombie fog. Bzz, do not recommend making zombie tacos, Dave. One zombie taco coming right up. Hmm, Dry and faintly earthy. I don't feel so good. I need to lay down. Lunch time. There you go. Great. Thousand coins for me. And then up next will be level five. Then we have, uh, I guess, we're on. So I guess we're on day two now. And then we have zero of eight, whatever's left. All right. So level five will be next. And we got the bamboo shoot, which uh, was prevalent in the alpha version. Bamboo shoots may be slow, but he hits hard. Hit him hard. Go quick. Locked and loaded. That was a big hit. Ready, set, plant. So this is very cinematic here. I'm just going to put that down there. We need more sun production, of course. And uh, I'm all up for fast forwarding, honestly. this uh, We've seen basically this game, you know, the, a, a large portion of this game before. And I am ready to... Uh, kind of proceed onwards and see what's new as quickly as possible. So there you go. That was good. One down here as well. I might start dropping these down, but we're gonna we're gonna finish this up pretty quickly. There you go. Long clear. I really don't know what causes the this, these graves to pop out like this. I really don't understand it, but. It's okay.
So we got a task done. Someone is at the front door. <laughs> Patrice, brains, <laughs> scared you. Oh, sorry, I was expecting my Uncle Dave. I'm Patrice. Patrice Blazing, nice to meet you. Mo just sent me an urgent message. Was that a zombie? Now, I think Patrice is from a from the comic, maybe? I have to double check on that. There's a lot I don't know. But that was the first step. And uh, we need more, uh, you know, we need more. We need more. That's all we need is more. Level 6 coming up. I don't know how many levels we'll do in today's episode. We'll see. The more sunflowers you have, the more often you get sun. That is, of course, a very valuable lesson. And uh, let's let's bring it then. Let's we have a lot already out here. And I'm just gonna drop this here. I'm not sure. Thankfully, these recharge kind of fast, so I can just drop another one out. And let's fast forward because I forgot that we need to fast forward. Bamboo shoots are looking pretty good. They're shooting bamboo. That's what the namesake is all about. We'll get him. We'll get him. Hold on. Here they go. Here they go. Wow. Another quick victory. And more rewards, of course, from these graves. There's a reward. And... Uh, Claim rewards. So, day one rewards have been claimed. And then, uh, okay, they, I guess since I come back tomorrow and I'll get, I can do like more rewards from another. Okay, but we're fine. Day one. Do meet Walnut or talk to, let's talk to Patrice about the zombies. The zombies are definitely back. Did they ever leave? Where's my uncle? <laughs> I don't know. Fine day will be the next task. But I have a, uh, I don't have as many tickets as there are tasks, so I'm a little worried about it. Zombies with headgear take longer to defeat. Of course, that's true. Again, I love the kind of the cinematic intro here. This is pretty cool. Yep, longer indeed. Love it. Ready, set, plant. Here we go. We're going to start with a uh, fast forward. I'm going to put uh, sunflowers down. I need something on top, obviously. And I also need more sunflowers, obviously. All right, good stuff there. He has a headgear, and he is dead. These levels are, are easy, obviously, but uh, think of it as like this is like a tutorial, and it's also introducing you to the game all over again. Even though we've already you know seen it in the September build, we are seeing new mechanics pop up here and there in this April build. So uh, now, I, do I want to meet Walnut or do I want to find Dave? I don't know. Let's do this one. Fling, garble, thwong, flab, it, glap. What Uncle Dave was trying to say is, why are there zombies here? Also, zombie tacos were a bad idea. Of course, Uncle Dave would just pick things up off the ground and eat them. So another thing I've noticed is they're not calling him Crazy Dave. They're just calling him Dave. And I think I noticed that in a different game. I don't remember what it was. I'm not sure. But anyway, here we go. My memory is drawing a blank. <laughs> so these are up front. I probably want to put some walnuts to protect them if I want them to, you know, live. But we'll see how the zombies end up coming out of here. I always forget to start the fast forward. All right, so there's something starting here, which is fine. I'm going to put this in the back. And I'm going to also put a uh, pea shooter up here. Okay, nice. I don't have to worry about that then. Pea shooter goes in right there as well. And what the heck? Why not right here? And how about one right there? Now this is a this is a multi-wave uh, type of round here, which is which is a first <laughs> for today. There we go. There we go. Oh no, I didn't place it. I didn't place it. My bad. But as soon as these zombies are beaten, yes, which is now, by the way, we got them. 
Lawn clear. Lots of graves have popped up here. Lots of coins. And then uh, another taco ticket. Now I'm, I'm really curious about the the distribution of these tickets here. Okay, meet Walnut. So now Walnut's here. They just keep coming back. Lucky we have Walnut to hold them back. Walnut says nothing. Don't look at me like that. You're a tough nut to crack. Lunchtime. Once more, thank you for the lunch. 15 minutes of not being able to die, apparently, is how that works. That's an interesting mechanic. I don't really know how it's going to play out, but here we go. Level 9. As time passes and zombies are defeated, this meter fills up. When this meter fills, it activates Grapes of Wrath. Grapes of Wrath launches explosive grapes at zombies. So this is a... Uh, yeah, there he goes initially. So good start. <laughs> grapes of Wrath was in the September build. I remember that for sure. Can I plant on top? Oh, but it blows up. Thankfully, my plant is still alive. Another one. How about it? Do I want to go for three so I can put it? Maybe. Here we go. Drop that in. I'll put in one of these here. Although that she has, she does have a grape that she can walk into, that will take her out like immediately. Oh, but not him immediately. Hold on. Uh, uh oh. These both cost three, but this is a heavy hitter. Wow, there goes my sunflower. So rude. But there's more grapes of wrath. Which is a cool name for a plant. Grape Shot was the name of the great plant in Plants vs. Zombies 2. Grapes of Wrath, much better. Much better name, my opinion. More Graves. Graves of Wrath. All right. What is this? This is, oh, I know what that is. So these are the items now. We have four of those. And uh, these items were also in the, in the build from last year. Talk to Mo. What's up, Mo? Bzz, zombosses, zomb fog is not dissipating. Bzz, reports of zombies all over town. Bzz, receiving message. Bzz, sit back and rest on your brains. Bzz. <laughs> Did we just get a Z mail? What is Dr. Zomboss up to this time? I don't know. You've unlocked the rake. Boost like the rake must be turned on before starting a level. Let's. I guess we're going to do it. And we're going to bring in the rake just to find out what it does. But we kind of know what it does, so let's just see. Ready, set, plant, rake, trap. And sure, a zombie's gonna walk on that, trigger the rake, and then uh, I think we're gonna be good. Let's get more sun production. He's gonna hit the rake. I don't think I'm gonna be able to stop him from hitting the rake, but I'll just go, I'll throw it out anyway, just to see what happens. Whoa, it went to her in the back, I think. That's what we just saw happen. Let's put one in the middle, I don't know. Oh, fast forward, I have to keep forgetting about fast forward. And right there you go. Multiple waves, oh, here we go. One in the middle, because multiple zombies in the middle. Multiple zombies in all rows. Uh, let's see. Lots of damage being dealt here. And Grapes of Wrath did their thing as well. Uh, let's just, here, let's just do another one. Don't, don't, give me the sun back, give me the sun back. And we are about done here. Oh, he's gonna eat that. He ate it? I can't believe he ate it. You joking, kidding me? We're gonna put a walnut down. And put this back here just to triple shot her. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And what we got? Lots of coins. I don't even know what we're using these coins for yet. But we got another taco ticket. We're gonna turn it in. Help sunflower grow. This was this was also in the previous build with rewards. Sunflower needs your help. Complete levels to watch it grow. Will do. Uh, I'm not gonna take the survey yet. So far, I'm liking it, but uh, you know, I I'm really curious what this game is eventually gonna have to offer. This act, this build actually is not that different to me, at least in my opinion, from the previous one. 
Obviously, these tickets, the ticket system in Patrice is new. We need to cure, cure Uncle Dave. He knows Dr. Zomboss better than anyone. Where's the hot sauce? Mm, hot sauce is located in mm, ancient Egypt error. <laughs> Hiddle Zomp Floople Swamp. I guess Uncle Dave borrowed that hot sauce from one of his old neighbors. He says it's a long story. It's okay. Luckily, every blazing comes uh, equipped with their own hot sauce. Now, where did I put it? So we have to help her find the hot sauce. This is just kind of a way to put a story between each mission, which is kind of a cool feature. You know, gives the game a little more character. Squash can crush multiple zombies. We've seen it before. Squash was really cool in the 2020 build of Plants vs. Zombies 3. I liked it, at least. I'm probably going to do... Uh, oh, okay. Well, you know, I'm probably going to do a squash here because there's two of them together. Got him. It was interesting how they were spaced out. I thought they were kind of on separate rows at first, but they were on the same row. Fast forward. Don't forget that. Uh, what's up? What's up? What's up? I think we're doing okay on the sun. We may not want to extend past this point, but we'll see. Uh, okay, we got some some something happening down here. We got a, we got like the triple zombies right here, dude. Are you kidding me, dude? Boom. Okay. Uh, let's. This is level eleven. We'll probably play to like level twenty or so. Lawn clear. Whoa, that's a big grave. One of those graves got real big. Left over big flowers for sure. And we got a reward. Here we go. Uh, let's see what the daily was. Or not, oh, Blazing sauce. Shamba Lamba, the hot sauce must have fallen out of my pocket during our last zombie shuffle. Oh, thanks for finding it. It's walnut impressive considering you have no arms. All right, one blazing bacon taco coming up. Let's find Uncle Dave before he starts turning green. So we're gonna cure him. Do I want? I don't think I need that as a boost. We're going in. We're growing sunflower. That's good, right? And squash can go backwards too. Lesson learned. Now some of these are dug up. Some plants like squash attack enemies behind them. I'm wondering if I can plant there. I'm guessing no. I'm guessing that's just a way to show me that I can't plant there. But we'll see. All right, put another one out. All right, there we go. We'll be attacking like normal, of course. And uh, of course, expanding our sunflower operation here. And there we go. Take her out, please, hurry, thank you. Starting to wonder if she was gonna be tougher. Lots of, here we go, here we go. What do we need, what do we need? We probably need a little something extra for these. These are, oh wow, yeah, I, I okay, hold on, you open, oh dang it. Oh, it missed, are you joking? Okay, well, Grapes of Wrath really came through for me there. That was, uh, that was incredible. I cannot plant on those dirt patches. Uh, yeah, we're gonna want something right here to stop this huge group. And we're done. I think these stages are diverging a little bit, meaning different than the last build. So many coins. And we got three of the chili pepper and a lunchbox, and, a, and another chili pepper. Okay, not bad. 
And then we got uh, Eat Tacos with Dave. Burble, Smirk, Fliss Taco was amazing. Hey, hey, words make sense again. Thanks for helping out, Patrice. With Dr. Zomboss on the loose, we we're going to need all the help we can get. I saw some neighbors on my way over. Maybe they can help out. Bacon tacos for everyone. Now, here we go. Another lunchbox for me. And uh, no bacon tacos, but a lot of stuff. I now have like an hour or some plus of, I guess, I can't die. I don't really understand. What Does this work yet? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Always tomorrow. Uh, let's play level 13. Boost like chili pepper can give you an edge against the zombies. So, yeah. They are frozen, my friend. Don't spend them all in one place. Make sure to save some for later levels. I That's my plan, is to just not spend them unless I really feel like I have to. So, let's see what we got here. And... And oh, this is a quick one. I should have fast forwarded from the start. That one was super easy. Nice little row of graves. Not really sure on the pattern here. I kind of wish this post game part was a little quicker. That's one thing I wish. This is like a, whoa, new area. Is that tree moving? Whoa, Douglas, who is this? Well, howdy, name's Douglas Fur, but most of my friends call me Squeak, Squeak, Whistle, Whistle. Of course, most of my friends are forest critters. You could just call me Douglas. I just finished a supply run, was about to hit the old musty trail. So this is interesting that we're introducing a lot of humans. I don't know if Douglas was like in the comic. I don't even know for sure if, if this lady was, this girl. Uh, but I heard that she was, and Douglas, I have no clue. Have you, no have you noticed any zombies around or near your house? House, cabin is where I lay my head. My critter friends tell me the woods are overrun. Care to tag along? Oh, that sounds great. I'd love to. Well, sure. Wasn't exactly talking to you, but the more the merrier. Can't wait. We'll meet you there. She talks like a sim. Shamba Lamba. So it takes two tickets now for the next thing. So we're going to have slower story progress, I imagine. So Shamba Lamba, let's play. And let's see what we can do today. Ready, set, plant. What do we got? What do we got this time? Boom. Let's put this out. We don't have any others. Shaba Lava. So this is the campground. The campground looks, I mean, as far as I can tell, looks about the same. I'm not, I'm not really sure. Uh, let's see. Uh, I didn't even mean to put that there. Uh, okay, we're gonna start to need to put uh, a whole bunch of things out. Grapes of Wrath will be shooting out very soon. That that flower's probably gonna get eaten, unfortunately. This one might too. Here's a whole bunch of zombies, put them there. I hear like werewolves in the background. I like that these items are here on the side, so that I can just use them whenever I want. I meant to put this guy here. I go Grapes of Wrath. Keep him out. Keep him out. They put him kind of close. I'm not so sure I'll be using him like, you know, the ones on the third column here. And, uh... I mean, so far so good, I, I think. I have a lot of sun produced. These are not gonna last very long. In fact, I thought she would hit that. Yeah, the Grapes of Wrath. Excellent. So this is the campgrounds. Getting just a taste of this, see what it's like. Wonderful. A reward too for me, thank you. I don't know, you know, last time I think there were 50 levels. I don't know how many levels are gonna be here. Maybe another 50. But we need uh, two tickets to do the story stuff, so a venture into the woods. We're going to get another. If that's okay with you guys. Because it's okay with me. 
Imps are quick but fragile. That imp looks hilarious. So yeah, one of these uh, bamboo shoots is gonna just take out the imp. No problemo. Let's add some protective flowers here. And boom. So she was already a little damaged already by the previous shot. All right, watch out, Imp. We have got to be very careful as to what's coming out here and being sure to have every row covered. All right. Lots of imps now. How are we gonna deal? 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 These shoot them. Thank you. All right. These. Yes. Nice. Get her. Get her. Get her. Whoa. 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 Okay. Hold on. I need to put this out. Drop it. Right. Drop it now. Got her. That stage was a little intense. I don't know if graves are just completely random or if there's some sort of logic to them. So, um, how many more stages do you think we could... Now we have two tickets to turn in for Adventure to the Woods. Bzz, we passed this tree before. This is the fourth time by my calculations. How could you possibly know that? Bzz, records have tracked this tree since I was a seedling. His name's Ponderosa. Bzz, he's actually a pinion pine bzz, named after his great great uncle. Would you like to know more? Mo, can you focus? I'd like to get to camp before a zombie gets us. Apologies. Ponderosa told me Douglas is just down this path. Tree is just one of my six million and one forms of communication. <laughs> Mo, why didn't you say something sooner? I thought we were having fun. Also, Patrice, his uncle was Ponderosa in humor. <laughs> I don't, I don't get it. I don't get that. <laughs> well, we're going to find Douglas's camp. Uh, <laughs> here we go. We're good. We, we just have a basic lineup of uh, things now, you know, but we should be good. His, the shovel digs up plants you don't need anymore. Perfect. Use the shovel to make room for pea shooter. Okay. Right there. And then pea shooter going in right there. Ready. I guess we're going to let this one stay. Uh, I, I don't need to plant any sunflowers, I don't think, but I'll make room for pea shooter right here. If you just give me three, I'll be ready. Thank you. Now, I guess I'll just flood the field with pea shooters. There's a good space for one. And there you go. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. These imps are pretty weak, right? So it doesn't matter too much if they get out here. A huge wave of zombies is approaching. What do I do? What do I do? Is there anything I need to do? Uh, maybe put a couple things out here. Let's make room by digging up this and putting in... There you go. We'll start putting in the, the bamboo shoots everywhere. I don't, do, I don't know if bamboo shoots have, have splash damage that, you know, either goes outside the, the, the row or not. No idea. But putting in one here for her. Then we got another wave left. Should be good. All right. Lawn clear. And uh, let's see. You got a reward. Of course we do. Plants vs. Zombies 3. This game is, is the reward. <laughs> uh, let's play. What we got? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why do we have a thing full of squash? What's that all about? Okay, what is what's happening here? 
We have like, oh, I guess, oh, it, it's basically like an imitator, right? So you can do multiples at a time, I bet. This will be interesting. And, and also this camp is showing the water going through, which is interesting as, as also. So we want to just prepare. Now, this water is moving, but I'm curious if it will move the zombies. I don't know if it's like that in this. I kind of want to see, though. I don't know if I want to take her out. Let's see, let's see what happens when she steps into the water. I'm really curious if that water moves her at all or if she just goes straight through. All right, it's not, it's not moving enough to move her. There you go. I don't have anything but squash and these. We could, we could stall. And then that way I'll be able to be sure to get a squash out here. I have a lot of sun. Unfortunately, I can't plant. I can plant here though. There we go. Let's put that there. Got two of them. Now here comes an imp. Uh, we can probably block the imp. We can also maybe block these ladies here. I don't know if this will hit. Oh, we got grip to wrap to hit though. There you go. Forgot all about it. That was pretty cool. One of the graves popped up in the water. I think they should fix that. <laughs> All right, you got a reward, of course, so we can uh, find Douglas's camp now, uh, story-wise. And what does he say exactly? Hey, buds, glad you made it. What took you so long? Pull up a stump. Sorry, Douglas, Mo took us <laughs> on a bit of a detour. Douglas, have you met Ponderosa? <laughs> oh my gosh. Listen to a ghost story would be the next thing. So I guess we'll end this episode by listening to a ghost story. But let's do two more stages first. The bonk choice back. Let's see how this works out. Bonk choice has short range but works well behind other plants. Indeed he does. Now, don't take out the first one. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. So we're putting the uh, we're putting the flowers all the way in the back this time around. Yeah, one of them got eaten, which is. Such a shame, because I didn't want that to happen, but we can go ahead and put this down, and uh, I guess I'll largely focus on the bonk choy when everything comes out. Uh, you know, maybe I'll just do this for this one. There we go. Um, yeah, good stuff going on there, right? No, oh darn, I put it a little bit too far ahead. That's okay. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, got all, well, this one's a little bit farther back then. And we're done, just about. There we go, now we're done. Long clear, but we got one more stage to do. And that will be, oh, uh, we got extra sun, which is a, which is an item. Okay, great. And in the lunch box, we got, okay, great, great, great. Cherry bombs as well. Haven't used those yet. This will be level 20. No, sorry, 19, then 20, right? Let's give us some extra sun, boost it up, play it. And we shall see, uh what it wants us to do. So we're starting with extra sun, which means what? There you go, booster activated. Okay. I think it gave me the extra sun, that's good. Of course I gotta wait for the sunflower to recharge before I put out more. I kinda wanna know where the first zombies, it's coming from the middle. Coming from the middle, put it there. And there's some extra sun. Shooter already, boom. Gonna take a couple shots, I guess. All right, now the next one will hit that imp, I hope. And okay, now, you know what? I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do something novel here. Let's do this. The squash. Wow. Okay. Hopefully. Uh. Wow. 
Oh boy. Dude, I, I, I hope the next one hits her. There we go, we're done. We, <laughs> we didn't have to even put out that much. Great. A reward! So we can listen to the ghost story now. And what say you, Douglas? And slowly, as one, they all looked back and saw the zombie took all the toilet paper! Goodness, that just got a little too real for me. <laughs> You're such a goof, Douglas. I totally wasn't scared. I am a little worried about Uncle Dave, though. Who knows what he is eating? Bzz, recommend going home and checking on him soon. Oh, are you headed back to town? Could you pick up the super important package for me? I thought we wouldn't need it, but the uh, weather is turning, so we'll definitely want it. But don't look at it. All right, don't look at it. Well, hey, we uh, get Douglas's package, go on a mission with Mo. Two separate tasks. Uh, but hey, things are going pretty great. Let's do level 20, and this will be probably the last stage for this episode. And then we'll do, I think if there are 50 stages, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Jalapeno knights, all zombies at once. Right. Horizontal style, baby. If you run out of boots, you can spend coins to buy more. Well, good, I have a lot of coins, I think. And then put this there, pal. And then what do we got? All right, I'm ready for this to go here. It looks pretty, pretty sturdy. And we got her as well. Uh, let's still, I'm just gonna do two columns. I mean, I don't think I need to, but I'm gonna do two. I could put a nut here, I guess. I don't know. And, uh, let's see. There's an imp down here. I don't have anything, uh, just... He's gonna tear through my flower, I think. And she is too, man. What the heck? All right, final wave. I wasn't fast forwarding. I forgot all about that. All right, we should be done with this pretty quick. There goes her cone. She's eating another flower of mine. Excellent. So that was level 20. Again, I don't know how many there are, 50? I'm hoping 50. So wait, the graves, okay, I think I just realized that the graves pop up where zombies died. I'm pretty sure that's it. That's interesting, so you would ideally want to time different zombie, I don't know. Who knows? But there we go, uh, that was level 20. I'm assuming they're gonna give us 50, I don't really know. It's day three, so that's day, but then there's level 20. So anyway, we'll do more levels next episode. Thank you for watching this uh, updated uh, preview of Plants vs. Zombies 3. Hopefully this game comes out this year. I really do hope so, or this week, or the, tomorrow, whatever. <laughs> but I'll see you next time for more. And of course, subscribe if you want to keep up with me playing the full game when it does release. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott, subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help the channel grow, all you gotta do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop. Come back next time for more.